Hello, and welcome to Thinking Storm Online Tutoring's video tutorial for Mount Wachusett Community College. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to submit a document to Thinking Storm's Online Writing Center. To get started, please log in to ThinkingStorm using the link in any of your Blackboard courses at Mount Wachusett Community College. Once you've logged in, you'll land on the ThinkingStorm homepage, where you'll see the Mount Wachusett Community College logo, a welcome message, and a list of instructions. To connect to the Writing Center, there are two options. The first is to select Writing Center from the drop-down menu. You'll begin by selecting Writing Center as your category, and then you can choose a course, or if you don't see your course, indicate other or not sure. Once you've completed all of those steps in the drop-down menu, you can click on the green Get Help Now button to navigate to the Writing Center. The other option is to click on the Writing Center shortcut which is located on the right hand side of the home page. You'll notice here there's an image that says need writing help and editing suggestions and includes a pencil and paper icon. Clicking on this icon will also connect you directly to the writing center so it can be accessed through both methods. Once you click on the writing center you'll be taken to the submission form. On this page You'll see a welcome message again and another list of instructions. Below that list, there's a brief form that we ask that you fill out about the assignment that you're sending us. In this form, you can fill out an alternate email address if you want it to be returned to another address in addition to your school email. Below that, we'll ask that you fill out some information about the assignment and the course that you're sending us. This information is used by our tutors to make sure that they're providing feedback that's in line with the courses and the assignments that you're working on. Below that, there's a field labeled Description of Assignment. In this field, we recommend that you provide specific instructions about what you're working on. If there are any particular areas where you'd like your tutor to focus, you can indicate them there. You can also paste any instructions that your instructor may have provided regarding the assignment. As noted a moment ago, our tutors will use that information to provide feedback and suggestions that are personalized to your particular assignment and course. The final step is to attach your document. You can click on the Browse button and select a file for your rough draft that you'll be sending us. You can also add a supporting document, so if you have a rubric, a set of instructions, or even a previous draft, you can also send that to our tutor who will then review it when they provide you feedback. Once you've completed those steps, you can click on the Submit button, and that will send your paper off to Thinking Storm's Online Writing Center, where a tutor will review it and send you feedback and editing suggestions. That feedback will arrive automatically to your email after your essay has been reviewed, and you can download the tutor's feedback directly from the email. You can also retrieve your paper from the Thinking Storm website by logging in, navigating to the Writing Center, and clicking on the Pick Up My Essay tab. That tab will display a list of all of your completed essays from which you'll be able to download them. Once you've downloaded your tutor's feedback, you'll receive comments, suggestions, and other resources that you can use to revise your paper and improve your work. This feedback will look something like this. 
you'll notice that our tutor is providing feedback and suggestions along the right-hand side of the margin using comments and hyperlinks. Students should note that ThinkingStorm tutors do not revise their work for them or proofread their documents. Tutoring is intended as an academic resource to help you become a better writer and understand where you can improve your documents. Tutors do provide feedback on a variety of areas. Here we can see that the student is receiving help with topics such as clarity and thesis statement, MLA formatting, as well as grammar and organization. Each of these comments is going to contain a suggestion or a mini lesson from your writing tutor. At the end of your paper, your tutor will also provide a brief summary of your work. This summary will cover what's working well and what might need some additional attention. Your tutor may also use this space to suggest some next steps or top priorities for the revision process. The goal here is that you can use the tutor's feedback, both with the comments and the summary, to improve your work and polish your writing before you submit it for a final grade. If you have any questions about the Writing Center or Thinking Storms online tutoring more generally, please contact Thinking Storms support. Support is available through online chat on the Think Thinking Storm website by phone at ThinkingStorm's toll-free number, and by email to care at thinkingstorm.com. Thank you, and we look forward to